In this video, I'll show you how to set up a one variable data table in Excel. A one variable data table allows you to test how multiple scenarios of one input affect the value of an output. In our example, we want to determine how changes in the value of our mortgage will impact the monthly mortgage payments. This will help us make choices on how much money we want to deposit up front. We're assuming that the interest rate of our mortgage is fixed at 5% and the mortgage term is 25 years long. Firstly, we're going to calculate the monthly payments for these inputs. We're then going to put together a data table which will allow us to see how changes in the mortgage amount impact the monthly mortgage payment. We can calculate the monthly mortgage payments by using the PMT function. We type equals PMT, first enter the annual interest rate divided by 12 to give the monthly rate, followed by the number of periods of our mortgage, which is 25 multiplied by 12. Finally, we enter the mortgage amount. If we click enter now, this will give a negative value as it is a payment. Therefore, we're going to add a negative sign before the function to ensure that the final value is positive. Therefore, if we're taking out a £200,000 mortgage at a 5% interest rate over the course of 25 years, then the monthly mortgage payments will be £1,169. Now we want to quickly be able to see how the monthly payment would change if we made changes to our mortgage amount. To do this, we need to use a data table. Firstly, let's input the mortgage amounts we want to test. In our case, let's say we want to test for mortgage amounts ranging between 100,000 and 300,000 pounds. So let's input 100,000 pounds in the first cell and add 20,000 in the subsequent cells until we reach 300,000. Now that we have the mortgage amounts we'd like to test, we can create our data table. To do this, select cells E4 to F15, ensuring that the selection includes the formula we use to calculate the monthly mortgage payments at the start. To create the data table, enter the data tab and then select what if analysis followed by data table. Our input values are displayed vertically in a column, so we want to have a column input cell. In this case, this is our mortgage amount input given in cell C5. We can now click enter. Therefore, Excel has calculated what the monthly mortgage payment would be for each of these mortgage amounts based on the formula in cell F4. So if our mortgage is £100,000, our monthly payment is £584. If it's £200,000, then it's £1,169. And if it's £300,000, then our monthly mortgage payment is £1,753. This allows us to quickly decide which mortgage amount works best for us, without having to manually change the mortgage amount each time and observe the change in the output cell. So that's how you can create a one variable data table in Excel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.